So here are the stats of Voidstrap after Roblox's new update. In this video, we're going to test Voidstrap after the latest Roblox patch, check if fast flags still work, and see how much FPS boost we can actually get in-game. So stay tuned until the end, because the results might really surprise you. Now without wasting any time, let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website, using the link in the description, and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Optimize Roblox for best performance on low-end PCs. We will start by making your computer faster so that Roblox can run smoothly, even if your PC is slow or old. Here's what you need to do. Click on the Windows search bar at the bottom of your screen and type, Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. When you see that option, click it. A window will open called Performance Options. Inside this window, you'll see many settings. Choose Adjust for Best Performance. This will turn off all those extra animations, shadows, and effects that make Windows look stylish but slow down your PC. If you still want your computer to look a little nice, keep these two boxes checked. Smooth edges of screen fonts. This makes text look clear and easy to read. Show thumbnails instead of icons. This lets you see image previews instead of plain icons. After making your choice, click Apply to save it. Now click the Advanced tab in the same window. Under Processor Scheduling, select Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This tells Windows to give more power to Roblox or any other game you're playing instead of wasting it on background apps. Finally, click OK to close the window. These small but powerful settings can make a big difference. They help reduce lag, increase FPS, and make Roblox much smoother overall. Step 2. Use Quick CPU to make your CPU run at full speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your CPU is like your PC's brain. It controls how fast everything runs. Normally, Windows slows down your CPU to save energy, but for gaming, we want it to run at full power all the time. To do this, we'll use a tool called Quick CPU. First, download and install Quick CPU on your PC. After it's installed, open the program. At the top of the program, you'll see a Power Plan dropdown. Select Ultimate Performance. This plan is made to keep your CPU running at full speed, which is perfect for Roblox. Now scroll down and set these sliders. Core Parking, 100%. Performance, 100%. Frequency Scaling, 100%. Turbo Boost, 100%. These settings make sure your CPU never slows down while you're gaming. Once done, click Apply, then OK to save everything. Next. Click on the Advanced CPU Settings tab. Here, turn on these two options. Turbo Boost. This gives your CPU small bursts of extra power. EIST, Enhanced Intel Speed Step Technology. This helps your CPU manage speed more efficiently. Once you finish, close Quick CPU. Don't worry. Your changes will stay active even after you close it. With these settings, your CPU will always stay at full performance, helping Roblox run much faster and smoother. Step 3. Boost Roblox FPS using Voidstrap and Fast Flag settings. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now that Roblox's new update has broken most FPS boosters, we'll test Voidstrap, the only launcher still working, to see if it improves performance after the new patch. We'll also check if Fast Flags still help increase FPS and reduce lag in Roblox. First, download the Voidstrap launcher from the FPS Boost Pack. After downloading, install it. Then open the Windows search bar, type Voidstrap, and open the program. When Voidstrap opens, go to the Settings tab. Under Integrations, you'll see similar options to Blockstrap, like player message logs and a few other options, but those are not very important for FPS performance. Next, open the Deployment tab. This section is super helpful. It includes features like multi-instance launching and cross-game teleportation. Multi-instance launching allows you to run multiple Roblox games at once. Compared to Blockstrap, Voidstrap does this more smoothly and with fewer crashes. Cross-game teleportation lets you move between games. It's an interesting feature that I haven't tested fully yet, but it sounds very promising. Now, click on the Modifications tab. This area looks a lot like Blockstrap's layout. You'll find options such as Mods folder, old Roblox sounds, and other custom visual and sound tweaks. Next, open the Fast Flag Editor. This is where Voidstrap really stands out. It shows small green check marks and red X's next to each flag. The green check means it's a preset flag, and the red X means it's custom. This helps you easily see which settings you've added or changed. At the top of the window, you'll see buttons like Copy All Flags, Copy Better JSON, and Find Flag. These make it faster to edit and manage your flag settings. There's also a Profile section, which lets you save different flag setups. 
great if you want to test multiple FPS configs without losing your previous ones. Now, it's time to import your fast flags. Click Import JSON, paste your copied flags, and click Save. These flags tell Roblox to unlock frame limits, use your GPU and CPU more efficiently, and make gameplay smoother. Before you test Roblox, go to the Fast Flag Settings tab. This section includes lots of pre-made flag settings you can turn on instantly, just one click. You don't even have to type anything. These ready-made settings help reduce ping, boost FPS, and make Roblox run faster automatically. Voidstrap also has appearance and shortcuts. Tabs, similar to Blockstrap, but it includes something special, an AI chat feature. It's still in beta, but in the future, you'll be able to ask it questions about flags or optimization settings right inside the launcher. After saving everything, close the settings and launch Roblox using Voidstrap. Test your game and check how much FPS you get. You'll notice that Voidstrap still works perfectly, even after Roblox's new update, while most other launchers like Blockstrap stopped working. This proves Voidstrap is currently the best and most stable FPS booster for Roblox. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Free Up RAM Using ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. RAM is like your PC's short-term memory. When it gets full of unused data, your games, including Roblox, can start lagging. To fix this, we'll use a tool called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Open ISLC. At the top, you'll see your total system memory shown in megabytes. In the box that says free memory is lower than, type half of your total RAM. For example, if you have 32,000 megabytes RAM, type 16,000. If you have 16,000 megabytes RAM, type 8,000. Now check these two boxes. Start ISLC minimized, so it runs quietly in the background. Launch ISLC on user logon, so it starts automatically when you boot your PC. On the right side, enable timer resolution and set it to 0.50. Then set polling rate to 1,000. If your PC is weak, use 10,000 instead. Finally, click Stop Arrow, Start Arrow. Purge Standby List. This clears up unused memory right away. After this, Roblox will have more free RAM to use, which helps it run faster and smoother. Step 5. Use MSI Afterburner to improve GPU performance in Roblox. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your GPU graphics card handles how Roblox looks and how smoothly it runs. You can make it perform better using MSI Afterburner. Install MSI Afterburner from your Tools folder and open it. You'll see a few sliders. Here's what to do. Set Power Limit, Max. Set Temperature Limit, Maximum. Don't touch Core Voltage. It's not needed. Now slowly increase the memory clock in small steps. Plus 20, test Roblox, plus 40, test Roblox, and so on. If Roblox crashes or shows issues, lower it to the last stable number. Once you find a stable and smooth setting, click Apply. This makes your GPU perform better, giving Roblox higher FPS and smoother visuals without lag or drops. Step 6. Make your PC start faster by disabling extra apps. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape to open Task Manager. Click the Startup tab. You'll see a list of apps that automatically start when your PC turns on. Right-click on the apps you don't need, like Spotify, Discord, or other background apps, and select Disable. This will stop those apps from using memory and CPU in the background. Once you're done, restart your computer to apply all the changes from the previous steps. Now, your Roblox will run with higher FPS, less lag, and much smoother gameplay overall.